Think back to your childhood when you were in school or some of your best memories made in the lunchroom. I know mine were. This week is National School Lunch Week and its purpose is to encourage our kids to make good choices at lunch daily. Now, we're in the kitchen sponsored by More For Less Remodeling and Carmen Fisher, who's the Director of Child Nutrition Services at Rockwood School District, joins us. Thank you so much for being here. So I know that school lunches, as we were just talking in the break, look way different than when I was in middle and high school. Thanks. So what are some of the differences that you have here in front of us? Well, today we're highlighting some of our national our school lunch uh, entrees and meals that our kids can get. It's National School Lunch Week, so the theme is School Lunch Pirates Find Your Treasure. Arr. So we yeah, <laughs> so we brought a bunch of treasures to show. So we have um, an elementary meal here where we want kids to customize. So we, we want to find something that everybody will like because you can't learn if you aren't on an empty stomach, so you need to be fueled for yes. the afternoon. So we have a snack pack where kids can kind of mix and match some of the items that they get to choose. So we have like a chickpea butter that they can use the Scooby Grahams to scoop up the chocolate chickpea butter, which just serves as a protein, the cheese sticks, grapes, fruits, and vegetables. Um, we have a create your own pizza for elementary students. Love. So kids love to customize their food. So we've got the whole grain flatbread with the marinara sauce, milk, veggies. And so we present it to the students like that, and then they can have fun with it and make their own fun pizza. And they can I fold it in noticed. half. Or... What? <laughs> I literally just noticed that that is a face. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's just upside down for right, me. Right, right. But I also see that you have just a wide variety of things. We've talked about fried chicken here, toasted ravioli, you talked about the chickpeas. Um, I want to also dive into the fact that when kids go to school, the meals that they provide are some of the most crucial there. You know, it might be their only well-balanced meal of the day. Can you speak to that? Sure. So we want to lead by example, and we provide children an option to get all the nutrients that they need. So with the National School Lunch Program, we have to offer milk, fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and proteins. So a full meal looks just like these meals presented here. So we want to we offer a large variety of fruits and vegetables for our kiddos because we want them to find something that they'll eat and not put in the share basket. So we have have a lot of fresh fruits, fresh vegetables, canned fruits. Um, today is uh, Blues Day, home opener, so we had a blue raspberry Love. applesauce. So we've got juice, frozen fruit, dried fruit, and some fresh fruit for kiddos, so um, for our students. So. How important is it for a kid to have the power of choice when it comes to their meals and what they consume? Oh, it's so important because if they don't choose and they're just served, they might not eat it. It'll just sit there. So uh, we want to have some positive peer pressure too. So what we're doing is we're highlighting a vegetable every month. In mm. September, it was zucchini. So I was at a school, they prepared zucchini and we sampled it. So it was Try It Tuesday. So uh, we we're offering the zucchini and this one of the students said, no, they weren't interested. But then they came back up because his friend had taken the zucchini and enjoyed it. The child came back up and got a piece of zucchini and tried it and liked it. So it's just trying to educate children about other um, fruits and vegetables they might not get at home and broaden their horizons and um, get their stomachs full so they're able to learn in the afternoon. Perfect. Well, I do want to say that there is been, there has been rather research done that shows that there is a great connection between uh, success in school and healthy lunches. Absolutely. You know, I want you all to check this out because I want you to be more informed. You can get more information about nutritional choices that are available in all school cafeterias by going to tradetalk.org. And of course, we're going to post this segment on firstalert4.com slash my live following the show. So lots for you to take advantage advantage of Kent that does not look like any of the food I Nothing had when like I was it. in school Nothing. I was lucky to get milk. I tried <laughs> milk, and that was about it. I'm going to these Scooby good. snacks. And we use local <laughs> products too. So. Local yeah. products. Thank you much. All right. The